journalistic reports in this module you will learn how to write journalistic reports and also attempt some practice questions an introduction journalistic reports are factual accounts of events that are newsworthy they are mostly written covering the events that have already taken place somewhere and would interest the readers they inform the readers about local national and international happenings features these reports must be concise and comprehensive since they are factual reporting of incidents they must be authentic and accurate in their coverage language and tone use a simple uncomplicated but formal language these reports are not directed at impressing the readers with your flair for writing avoid constructing long and convoluted sentences the sentences must not exceed 20 to 25 words and should convey only a single idea use the simple subject verb object construction and avoid using too many commas use the third person narrative only in case you wish to quote someone put the quote within quotation marks use only indirect speech and passive voice do not use a biased language and tone in an attempt to persuade the readers to think in a particular manner use a language that is absolutely neutral and objective otherwise you may be labeled a yellow journalist newspaper reports must aim at describing events as they are and not project the reporter's version use expressions like according to eye witnesses according to reliable sources or according to the police officer or guard on duty format headline byline dateline body headline write the headline in the center of the topmost line of the page underline it it tells the reader what news story is covered in the report keep the headline short and catchy avoid using articles prepositions adjectives or adverbs in the headline use shortened word forms and abbreviations in the headlines you need to eliminate all formal forms of address for example after hc rap government scrambles to bail out sfs 50 ndmc guards to keep cb clean or hc ban u18 kids from dahi handi events byline the byline informs the reader by whom the report has been written write it right below the headline it starts with by followed by the name of the reporter for example by special correspondent ht or by vijay.raj at timesgroup.com a byline could also give the name of the news agency like reuters associated press or pti in this case refrain from writing by before the name of the news agency dateline this is written aligned to the left hand side of the sheet leaving a line after the byline this mentions the city or town from where the news story was reported earlier the date of reporting was also mentioned here but now this has become redundant body the inverted triangle of journalistic reporting 
journalistic reports follow the inverted triangle formula to cover news stories. Their layout is diametrically opposite to that of essays where you introduce the topic, then build it up and finally conclude it. The opening paragraph for standard news stories contains the H and 5 W's known as H5W. Who? Who announced? Reacted? Did something newsworthy? What? What happened? Was said? Was done? When? When did something happen? Day? Time? Date? Where? Where did it take place? Why? Why did it happen? How? How did it happen or would it affect people? This formula remains a constant because the traditional style news stories must answer all six questions. The second paragraph provides the flesh to the sketchy details of the first paragraph. The third or the concluding paragraph gives the follow-up or the impact of the event covered in the report. Body. This forms the crux of news stories. It is divided into three paragraphs. Paragraph 1. The first paragraph or the lead paragraph addresses the H5W. Narrate the news story very briefly in a chronological order. It must tell the reader briefly about the news story. Paragraph 2. This paragraph provides a detailed account of the incident covered in the report. You may quote a person in this paragraph in case that adds weight to the news story. Paragraph 3. This paragraph gives the follow-up action that has been planned. It also tells what the impact of the incident was on a specific group or the people at large. Sample. Practice questions. Attempt the following questions in your notebook. Summary. In this module, you have learned how to write journalistic reports and also attempted some practice questions.